Hey YouTube, I'm back. I failed the test today. Only had two to go before I failed. I failed it, but I can take it again tomorrow. So it's all good. It happens. I don't think I studied hard enough. So, but all right, this video is just going to be about uh, no starts and the four strokes that you can try to eliminate to see what the problem is. Like my sister, she got a Toyota Camry. I don't know what year it is. Let's see what year it is. Matter of fact, I don't even know where her stick at. I think she peeled it off. A hold it. Let's see what year she got. She got a. It don't even say on the sticker what year it is. This looks like this is probably a 2010. But she got a 2010. Uh, it's a Toyota Camry. So. I'm going to show y'all where to start it at on these. Now, her problem is when she crank, it won't turn over. See, look, listen. Matter of fact. Nothing. Now, typically, what it's different situations to determine an issue with a no start. Now, you know, no starts with no crank, you approach that differently. But no starts where it's cranking, but it's not turning over, then you want to approach it a different way with that. So this is a no start with no crank. So seems like we got an electrical or power issue. Now, the first thing you want to kind of go to and check is the battery. So um, I checked the battery and most likely she probably going to need a battery because a battery should be 12 volts or more. And when I use my voltmeter, to test it it was only reading like 10.4 so it's low you know it's not having enough voltage to crank over the engine but if if it wasn't the battery then most likely it could be the starter it could be the starter wire it could be the power wire going from the battery and ignition to the starter it can be the ignition itself like a lot of times these ignitions you know from wear and tear can go bad or it could just be something faulty with the wiring to where it can go bad. So the way you can test to see if the ignition is good, if you know you done eliminated that the battery's good and this and that, there's a power wire from the ignition going to the starter, and um, you can get like a voltmeter to um, read it. You know, see if it's power going there. But let me show y'all. And sometimes you can um sometimes you can tap on the starter and that'll make the starter um kick over that's probably on many older cars though so like on this toyota camry this is a 2.4 liter engine and like i said the way sometimes you can get information about what size engine you got like you got stickers that be on the hood and they even be on the doors or sometimes it might be like right along here just look for the sticker and it had a year sometimes then it had the leader size or different um calibrations of what certain things should be but on this particular camry i know i got my old frown shirt on so i ain't getting my regular clothes dirty so i need to have some gloves but we just doing the battery so that ain't no big deal so most of the times batteries is usually like between 10 millimeters or between 10 to 12 millimeters um, screws. And a lot of times, you know, only thing you got to do to remove a battery is pretty much like this is the battery mount. Well, this is probably like a 10 millimeter socket. So you just take the mount off. You take the, uh, you know, you take the, the way you want to do batteries, you take the negative um, ground off first because obviously you want to unground anything. And then once it's ungrounded, it's cool to take then the positive wire off. So, in the way that you know that uh, which terminal is what. So, obviously, if you see red and the plus sign, you got your positive side. And then you see, like, if you really look and see black, you know, with a negative symbol, then that is your negative terminal. So, that's how I know which one is what. And then a lot of times, too, you know, so a lot of times when batteries been in the vehicle for a long time you know they can get corroded a little bit and hers ain't super corroded to where it shouldn't be turning over but i do see some so if it is a battery and i put the battery in for her 
I'm most likely going to get some battery cleaner. I already got wire brush, so I'm going to, you know, clean it up and, um, you know, really, you know, clean it up so she can get a good connection. But this is my voltmeter right here. Hold up. Let me see if y'all can hear me. All right, so this is my voltmeter right here. You can get all this like this from Walmart, so these don't cost much. Like you can get simple voltmeters, you can get you know fancy voltmeters, but we just want some. We just trying to read how much our battery is putting out. So on this particular one, we gonna go into the battery section, and we gonna go to the 12 volts because we trying to see if her battery is reading 12 volts or more. So I got the negative wire into the negative terminal on this thing. And then I got this hooked up to the, the volt side of where it should be hooked up to. Like this is the amp side and this is volts. You know, volts is more than amps. So like I got it set now. So it's zero. So let's see how much voltage we're going to get. Let me, uh, let me see. All right, so all you just pretty much do is you, you pretty much just put, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay. So you pretty much just, like, you put the positive on the positive. And then, let me see. I don't know how to do this, but I might can't show y'all this Oh, no, nope, I ain't gonna be able to show y'all that part. But once you put the positive on the positive and then the negative on the negative, it's gonna give a reading. And right now her reading is 10.5, so that is not enough to crank our engine. So you want me to show you, Paulette? Yeah. You want me to show you? Yeah, most like did, did you get a price on the um battery? Same thing with that thing. Okay. That's fine. Say hey to YouTube sister. Hey Paulette. Hey Paulette get hey. Say hey Melissa. Hey. Oh, you gotta lick them lips. But alright y'all, let me finish. So alright, I'm about to get off here, but uh let me see. I don't know if y'all can see down in there, but for these Toyota Camrys, like this, let me see. Like the star is pretty much behind the battery and underneath the intake air box. And this wire pretty much connects to it. So it's kind of hard getting good. You see where my finger's going? Yeah, down in here is where it's at. So. A lot of times you just want to check the wiring to make sure that it is not corroded or that it's not loose. And her situation is not loose. And she's getting power, so it ain't the ignition. It's that battery, I can guarantee you. So, like I said, once I pick up her battery and take in the core, um, you pretty much take this bolt off right here. Unloosen that, then loosen the clamp. You know, this bolt, these look like this. No, I'm now it's, it's that look like an 8 millimeter, so... I say between the eight millimeter and twelve on most batteries. So I'ma, you know, take this bolt off and use the clamp. Take this bolt off and use that clamp. Take this battery mount off. You know, you're gonna need a deep socket for that. It's like a ten. No, this is like an eight. So you know, you take this off. Once you take all that off, the battery should pretty much come out. So all right, guys, let me get this battery out so I can get some rest. But I'll be getting back with y'all in a little bit. So this is.